Um, in this lesson, we are going to work on creating uh, a new article page. So the HTML aspect of it we'll work on first. So what we are going to do is right click on admin, uh, create new file and uh, save this new file as new-article.html and then go into index.html, copy everything from there and paste it into our new article page and we can close the index. Okay, so um, I'm going to cut the active uh, class and paste it into our article link. Okay, and I'm going to either copy this from here and come up here, double click and change index to new dash article or paste. Okay, so now we can see our article link is active. Okay, so um, what we now want to do is uh, minimize our side menu, also minimize the header and concentrate on what we need. So we're going to have a few um, elements created here. So we'll start with an ID, so a content ID. And within that, we're going to have a header uh, and a H2. And I'm going to give uh, the header a class, uh, which will be uh, page title. And the H2 is create new article. Okay, so if we reset the screen, we could see our unstyled H2, which will end up looking like this at some point. So the next phase um, is for us to work on some form elements. But before that, a few more um, HTML elements. So I put class, and this would be content, inner, and within our content inner, I have another div, uh, a class, and we could say this is a form wrapper, and within our form wrapper, we can then have our form, and within form, um, I have another div. So it's quite a few uh, divs going on. So this will be form group. Okay, so within our form group, we have our label. Okay, so I'll give this label a class uh, for screen readers only. And so title, so this screen readers only, only displays uh, for people with our screen reader. So we're not going to see this on our screen. Okay, so let's copy this um, and paste it two times. So we have three instances of our form group. And we have three instances because we have title, select tags, and then we have our text area. So let's change uh, this to tags and change uh, our text area will be for article. So we have title, tags, and article. Okay, so we have our input type. Uh, this would be a type of text. So we can um, have our input for, for, for writing a title. So the class is form control and we have our ID is title. Okay. And a placeholder uh, will be just title, we do. Okay, so now we have uh, for our tags, our tags are slightly different. So we are going to use a select. So we have multiple options for a select. So I'm going to add a data placeholder, which I will um, make reference of. So select tags and multiple, basically uh, allows us to select multiple options from a select um, element. So the name is tags. Okay, so now we can have um, our options. So options like that and copy this and paste it a few times. So I'll leave the top one empty and have HTML here. Uh, second one could be CSS. Uh, this could be coding. And the last one could be programming. Okay, so save this and let's reset the screen and we can see we have our title and we have our select option. 
So this is what it will end up looking like. Okay, so now we have our, our article section to deal with. So we have a text text area to to have in there like that. I have a class. We'll give it a form control. So it has a basic styling from Bootstrap and a placeholder for it would be article like that. And uh, we'll give it a name, which would be article. Okay, so now if we reset our page, we can see we'll have a text area there and we can select multiple options there. Okay, so now we have um, a checkbox. Uh, so I'm going to make a class, a checkbox class like that. And within that, I'm going to have a label. And in that label, I have input type checkbox. And to the right, um, I'm going to have a label, which is publish article. When I click on save. Okay, let's see what that looks like. There we go. And that's, this is what it's um, going to look like. Okay, so we're nearly there with the HTML. Uh, what we now need to do is have a submit button. To do that, I'm going to have uh, a clear fix. And within our clear fix, I'm going to have a button, uh, which is a type submit. And I said a clear fix because it's going to uh, be floating to the right. So I say pull right, okay. And we need a title, so we say save slash publish. And we can go ahead and close our button <clears throat> and reset the page and we can see we have save and publish on the right side and our HTML is coming together fine. Um, we have a few more things to do like style it and so on. So it's coming together fine. Um, I think, yep, I think there's a spelling error in the publish there. Doesn't look quite right. So if we come here, uh, we could check, put a B in there. Okay, so we've learned a few things in this um, lesson and um, in the next lesson, we'll um, carry on from where we've left up and we'll um, start styling our page. So I'll see you in the next lesson.